Hi everybody, it's Todd Brannon, the Accidental Excelist, and in this video we're going to take a deeper dive into the offset function um, as sort of part two um, to a, a quick two-part series on the offset function. If you didn't see part one, I'm going to leave a link in the uh, description below, but we just kind of scratched the surface of the basic syntax and the basic concept of the offset function, and we didn't get into the optional arguments, the height and width, and in this video we're going to do so. So what we've got here is a basic sales table, and the way I've got it set up is we've got some uh, regions across the top in the columns, and then we've got a quarter, uh, or actually quarters, uh, down the uh, rows. And so what we want to do is be able to uh, look up, uh, we're going to do a couple of things here. We're going to kind of review the basic idea of the uh, reference rows and columns arguments only, uh, omitting the height and width arguments and then we're going to get into using um, the height and width arguments to bring in the sum of some of these um, ranges here. So in the previous video where we introduced the offset function and the uh, basic syntax we used actual numeric values for our arguments but note here in um, cell D12 what I've got here is I want to bring in quarterly total by region. So I've got some um, nice little elements here. I've got a drop down for our quarter, and then I've got a uh, drop down for our uh, regions. And so what I want to be able to do is uh, tell our um, offset function in cell D12, um, uh, yeah, D12, that I want to use the value, the cell value in C9, which is our quarter, and then the cell value in D10, which it's sort of hidden here. I've got this ifs function, but basically what this does, let me show you what I did. I basically ghosted out that font, but if I go back to black, it brings in uh, three. So in my uh, clever little ifs function here, if you've ever used this before, I basically just uh, equated each one of these uh, column values or these column header values to a number. So if it is east, it's equal to one, which is column one, and then uh, west is column two, uh, and so on. So clever little trick there. And then what I've basically done is change that to a white font, and then that way it's kind of hidden. And uh, we got to get our values that way. So basically what's happening here is depending on the quarter, if I choose, you know, quarter one, two, three, or four, that's going to be my row value uh, or my row argument in the offset function here or formula. And then our, uh, you can see here it's highlighted the value that's in cell D10, which again, back to what I just showed you, is going to be a one, two, three, or four based on the values of the, um, the header uh, values here east west south west north central for our regions so what happens depending on the quarter like for instance i'm going to i'm going to select uh the first quarter and our again i guess what i didn't actually emphasize here is our uh, reference is actually cell a2 which is where it says quarter here so every value that we choose is going to be offset from that second row and one, two, three, or four columns from that cell as well. So any of our uh, choices are going to be limited to um, this, this range of values. So we've got one, two, three, four rows here, one, two, three, four columns offset from our reference, which is, which, which is A2. So back to the uh, formula here, or back to our dropdowns, let's select quarter one, and let's select east. We know that's going to be um, cell B3 because it's from A2 it's going to be one row down and one column over and sure enough we get that value here in our little space where we've got our offset function so let's say we want to go down to Q2 for the east region I'm not going to change the region drop down I'm just going to change that to 2 and it pulls in 1895 now there are some other ways you could do this you could use the uh, you know probably like a VLOOKUP or an index match function, but this is actually for this purpose, this is a really cool demonstration of what's possible with the offset function. So let's look at, um, let's go all the way over to Q4 and then the North Central division. 
and it's going to give us 3745 much like what we saw in the first video where i was using the basic concepts here and you've got these uh row and column values you bring that in we're using numeric values there but what we're using on this uh, example are actually cell references which turn out to be number values um, for those arguments so in this um, value for annual total by region let's think about the concept here for a second so I want to get the annual total, which is going to be all four quarters. So I know I want this to be all four rows, depending on which region I select, right? So right now we have the north central region selected. So this value here should be a sum of all four of these values. So if you look over here, you see in our uh, sum, we've got $13,294. And sure enough, in that cell, we get that exact value. So how did we do that using the offset function? Well, let's look at our, um, let's look at our formula here in the uh, formula bar. So what we've basically done is we've used the offset value, and then we've taken a sum of a range that includes all of these cells. So the height and width value or, um, arguments essentially are referring to the height and width of the range. So in this particular, let's just look at the offset portion of this formula. Basically, it's offset based on the reference A2, just like we had used in the previous example. And then what we're doing is we're saying we want to offset one row from that. And we're just going to put in a hard-coded value of one because ultimately what we're doing is we want to get the just the, all, the four quarters, depending on uh, what region we select and so that's really the only dynamic portion of our uh, formula that we want to deal with is the change in this value here in cell d10 remember this is just widened out and that's basically uh, an equivalent numeric value to the um, region uh, in our column headers so for north central that would be four so we know that d10 is a value of four currently on the height and width, what we're basically saying is we're hard coding the uh, number value here of four because we want all four of these uh, rows. Sorry. We're saying we want a range that is four deep, basically four rows deep. That's the height. And because the offset is to this cell here, remember the um, offset was A2 by one row. So that puts us at A3, which is quarter one. But because the height is four, we want that four rows deep. That's two, three, and four. And we want that to be true um, no matter which one of these columns we select. So if we go to um, region, um, the west region, that's going to bring in a value. Again, let me um, unhighlight or unhide that, I guess. And that's going to give us a value of two, which is uh, two columns over from A2. And so we're getting this column, but we want, and even though we're only offsetting one row, because we put a height of four, we're going to get a, we can use the sum function on that value. So because it's four deep, we can impose the sum formula or function on that and get a formula that's going to give us the sum of all four of those because it's four uh, in height. So uh, going back to this, since we're um, pulling the west region, look at uh, if I highlight all four of those, I can see that my sum is 9222. And again, that's what we've got here. So I know that might be clear as mud. But again, basically what it's saying is it's the same thing as just offset A2 by one row and then D10, which is two rows based on the uh, selection from our drop down here, the west division so that's basically cell c3 and then a height of four so that gives us all of those and now we can use the sum function on that to give us the actual sum of all four of those values so let's go to um, let's select southwest and since that's a value of three the offset is going to be to cell d3 and then because it has a height a four, it's going to give us a sum of 8141. We can check that here. And sure enough, that same formula, if we sum that result of that offset, we get 8141. Uh, and again, just to point out, this is also the width. The width of one just give us, gives us the one um, 
one column. Now, if we were to select a value of two, let us let me just show you um, real quick, just to show you before we get into this next example, what happens when we select a different value for the uh, width. So if I wanted to select a value, uh, the width value of four, that's going to give us four deep and four wide. So that would actually give us a sum of the entire array of sales values for all the, the um, all the regions and all the quarters. So we get the full year total sales from all regions with this formula. So if I go ahead and hit enter, I get 38,257. So let me highlight this entire array or this entire matrix range, what have you. And sure enough, we can validate that here. That gives us the sum of 38,257. So just so you know, that's what, um, that's kind of the gist of the height and width of the offset uh, function uh, result. So let's go, let me go ahead and put that back to one. We'll keep that as it is. Uh, and as you can see here, we're uh, um, selecting East Division and it gives us 7,600. And sure enough, that's what we get here. So in this quarterly total by all regions, what we've done, we've basically kind of taken the inverse of what we did for annual total by region. So in that one, we wanted the total of all four quarters for each region, depending on which of those we selected in our little drop down here. In this case, we want the quarterly total, which is all the way across for all the regions. So it's going to be dependent on which quarter we pick. We're, we're going to get the total for the entire um, organization, I guess, if it's all four of these uh, divisions for each quarter. So it's it, it's irrelevant to which one of these we select. Notice that our annual total by region will change when we change the region, but our quarterly total all regions won't. And you can see the change there, but no change here. However, when we change quarters, we're going to get no change here, but we are going to get changes here. And so if I go to Q1, it changes my value for the quarterly total by all regions uh, versus uh, no change for the annual total by region. And the reason that is, is what we've done here is we have selected uh, just one row for our offset, one row, I'm sorry, one row for our height, but four columns for our width. So basically what that means, it depends on the quarter that we choose, we're going, we're choosing all four of these. So we're not offset or the, the height of our um, offset is just one row. But depending on which of these quarters we choose from our drop down here, it's going to be all four columns. And we can validate this here. So if I have those highlighted, I go down here uh, in the bottom right hand corner and I see a sum of 8116. And sure enough, that is validated by our sum of our offset here, which is one row deep and four columns wide being offset from the um, from cell A2 here. So let's look at uh, column three, I mean, um, quarter three, and we get the, we should get the sum of these four columns and that's 9813. Sure enough, that's what we've got here. So that's the gist of using the height and width arguments with your offset function. And then also being able to impose like the sum function on that to get the sum of all the values in that um, in the result of that offset, depending on your width and your height of the range. So that's it. That's kind of a quick rundown. I guess it wasn't really that quick. It ended up being about a 15 minute video here, but I just wanted to show you some practical examples of how to use the offset function in Microsoft Excel. Thanks everybody for watching. Please take a minute to like and subscribe and be sure to check us out at theaccidentalexcelist.com. Thank mm -hmm. you.